and we are here tonight with the comment soul demo combination. So um, the history of this situation is when we had the store pre-pandemic, you know, way back when, we used to have a Thursday evening where the store, we would run a how do you use it. So we would focus on a product, maybe it was ink, maybe it was Luchador, maybe it was paint, maybe it was embossing powders, there was just different things and it was not any lengthy class, it was not long, it was just to kind of give you an a exposure to different products. So tonight, as I said, it's an experiment because we have some choice local creative minds that have volunteered to come and be part of this experiment with us. So we do have a few people who are going to be creating some things with us in the room as well as listening to my demonstration and see my examples and things. Now, why it's a comment sold is we have collected the products that we're going to be using tonight and we have put them on the comment sold store for you with a 15% discount. Okay, so I said the key word, 15% discount. But let's go, let me tell you what the coupon code is. Let me tell you a couple other things that we start our Facebook Lives with. Is, first of all, the bat contact is sales at, I always do that, artisticartifacts.com. So if you have any questions, you need any additional help or things, just email us there. We will go home tonight and sleep and be back tomorrow morning. So don't email us at one o'clock in the morning saying you need help because we will not be able to answer you. So, but that is the back connection. Then if you, for ease of shopping, you want to download our app on um, Android or iPhone. It is available, it's free. Go to your app store, Google Artistic Artifacts and download your app and create your own account. This helps you shop faster, which is what I want. Might not be what you want, but that's what I want. Is you shop faster, you can watch it on the app, you can hit the buy button. Um, tonight's gonna be a little bit different than say our last comment sold, um, because I'm not gonna show you each and every item that's for sale. I'm gonna talk to you and demonstrate and show you some samples of the products and then you'll have to go into the app and pick your colors, pick your stamp pads, pick your stamps of what you want, okay? So that is, it's gonna be a little bit different. When we do our other comments sold, I'm actually holding up a product, 100 item, and I'll tell you the amount and that kind of stuff, and we're, we just do it that way. This is totally different. Now, um, with the coupon code, you need the coupon code, right? It's ink15. So we have ink 15, it is good for 24 hours. You can use it more than once. So say you go in and you do your shopping, you use your coupon code and you decide you wanna go back cause you, you slept and you said, okay, I, I need more colors and you can go in and buy more colors, more stamp pads. So that's your coupon code and you wanna make sure that you use that. So the coupon code's only good for 24 hours your shopping cart once you start adding things to your cart you have six hours to pay for them and check out now what the app allows you to do is you can pay with a credit card paypal whatever systems you have set up that way is all available to do that with you 75 dollars is free shipping we will combine orders so say you're going to buy some things on a, the comment sold store but you also want to buy some things on artisticartifacts.com because of course we can't put them all on comment sold. So there might be more stencils, there might be inks, there might be pens and things that you want on the store. And if you just email us and let us know to combine them, we'll combine them. And if between the two orders you hit $75, we will refund the shipping if that has shown up. So does everybody know how to buy and how to participate? and purchasing these products. Do we have any questions, Kyle? No? Oh, you can't see the questions. It's not a regular Facebook Live. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, questions. No, questions? no questions? No questions? Okay. People are logging in from Nebraska and Mississippi and California. 
Wow, that's great. That's great. That's why we're trying to figure out how to do this because we have customers across the country and we want to try and figure out a way to include them and have a live version and a demo. So definitely at the end of the evening in this presentation, please let us know your responses. Um, did it work? Did it not work? Did you like this idea? Judy, please do one on, um, I don't know, glues, whatever. So um, that type of stuff, we would like that um, format back, information back. Okay, is everybody ready? We're ready. <laughs> Kyle, can you? All right. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to tell you just point blank this is my opinion this is what i like to do this is not the holy grail this, this is not great descriptions it's just what i have found that works for me so i suggest that you test things and you try them out and hopefully you'll learn what the t what they do and what they don't you keep laughing chris so the one comment says just take all my money <laughs> 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 all right so again it's just my opinion I am not an expert in any of this I make it up as I go oh I said that out loud didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> all right so the first thing that I have found is that I really like this paper it is a mixed-media paper and what that means why it's important is I can glue on it I can stamp on it I can paint on it I can spritz on it and it doesn't buckle it's really, really great. So that is the paper that we're using tonight. And that's the paper that I use in my journals. And we'll show you a little bit of Chris's journal who she did with that. So it is mixed media paper by Strathmore. This is a tear out, or you can get it in a um, spiral. spiral, yes. All right, the other thing we are using is just some basic muslin. So white, bleached, natural, there's no coating on it, it's just cheap fabric. And everybody should have one piece of muslin and one piece of um, mixed media paper. Okay, cool. All right, because one of the things that we've always done here is if we can try things that are traditionally um, ink and paper, whether it's paint or that type of stuff, we try it on fabric as well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, not always washable once you're putting things in a book creating stuff on the wall washable doesn't become a problem so those are some of the things but stamps react differently on whether it's a paper surface or a fabric surface all right so okay what am I using to create my patterns I'm using stamps we have we bring stamps in from France they are paper artsy, and they are designed by Seth Apter and Gwen LaFleur. They are teachers that have taught here frequently, and there's many, many teachers out there that create some great stamps, but we just w have been working with these, and they produce stamps faster than you can possibly use them up. So these are um, packaged, they're very rarely put on sale, but you can see multiple stamps. So here's the front, and then it shows you the stamps on the back. They do not have blocks on them. They are just the rubber. All right. So I used stamps from those, one of the, those packages and once I get them out of the package, they never go back into the package, so they don't get max, mis, matched back up. So I'm gonna show you some samples that I did ahead of time, and I am going to start with Memento Lux. So the Memento Lux, everybody has one. We have one here. So it's going to be, I just used this stamp. And you can see 
It's a very juicy pad. This was one of the pads that says it's specifically for a non-porous surface, which fabrics is a non-porous surface and paper is also. But it's juicy. So it will have a lot to it. All right, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the stamp that I used. And we'll try this. Okay, I'll try a different stamp. So what I do is I take the stamp, which this one doesn't seem to have any ink in it. Hmm. These are from my stash. Which one are you using? A Memento Lux. Looks like it has it. I re-inked them all either too. There we go. Oh well, they do dry out. That's why we try to, we sell the re-inkers as much as we can. So I turn the stamp upside down and I ink it that way, and then there. So that's that one. Memento Lux, what I, I said a couple things, re-inkers. Re-inkers are um, a tube that is going to allow you to take the ink and add more to your pad, rubber pad. That is, you know, I think it's an efficient way to do it. A lot of times when you, you shop at those big box stores, they sell you the ink pad, but they never give you the re-inker. So we try to keep re-inkers in stock for the pads that we are selling. Now, the other thing about this Memento Lux pad is it's kind of juicy, as I said, and we should be able to use it on a wood block. Most of the inks, with using the wood blocks are going to dry very fast. But let's see if we can get an image. So when you're using a wood block, you have to have a foam mat. We inked it up. It's not a great image. I still prefer to have um, paint for my wood blocks. I really still prefer, but you can use a juicy pigment ink pad. All right. So I do have re-inkers for these and I will have to ink them up again. And what I do is I just squeeze out the ink on here and let it settle so that it soaks the pad. Just like acrylic paint, you will have pads dry out and you want to you know, it's not precious. The more you use it, the bad, the more it, it, the better it is. And as I said, the re-inkers make a big difference. Most all manufacturers will create re-inkers for their pads. Can you describe what the uh, plastic handle can be here? Diana? Okay, the plastic. So um, this is a mini mount. So it is an acrylic plexi and it has a handle and it has a curve. So what happens is you can take the stamp, okay, and you're gonna, did I, what do you want me to do? Show the curve. Show the curve. Okay, now a little trick here. Oh, yeah. You get it a little bit wet, it sticks better. Now, Crystal, you brought blocks, right? I do. Okay, so a lot of times you find just an acrylic block that will give you that same surface. For years and years and years, I never had a holder. I didn't use anything. I just inked up the stamp and set it down. Now, this stamp is a circle here, and you can tell I have my thumbprint in there. So when I stamped it up, I got a little bit of ink in the middle, and when I used just, when I just was doing this, I pushed, and that's how I got that in the center. It doesn't bother me, but if you had an acrylic block, you probably wouldn't have that. Okay. All right, so Memento Lux, heat set with an iron. It's usually juicy. It's um, create, they, they sell it for fabric. That's what they tell us it's good for. And it will dry, it takes a little bit of time to dry. And um, you're gonna want to let it rest for a little while and work on it. 
Now, let's see. I did not iron this, I don't think. Um. Oh, of course I got the spray bottle. It doesn't work either. <laughs> Demo gods, please come. All right, that's pretty soaked. And I'm I'm not I'm not getting any bleeding anything there. So, I would say that is good and waterproof. You can see. All right. So that's something I think I just like to know because many times when you're, especially when you're journaling and you're working in layers, sometimes that next layer after that stamp is gonna be wet. It's gonna be a watercolor, it's gonna be a spray, it's gonna be something, and I don't want my stamp to run. And I always thought I used stays on, which is gonna be the next one. Let's see, I'm gonna show you. So stays on is a very quick drying ink and we sell them in these little minis now. Stays on has been around for a long time. It's a solvent base, which I always thought was a um, uh, alcohol base, but it's solvent, it dries fast. And here is my sample for those. Um, and you can really see the difference between how it reacts on paper to how it reacts on, um, fabric. Fabric kind of absorbs it and, and it, the light's not reflecting off it to make it brighter. And I, I inked them up the same, so... To me, I would like to have the same, but look at if you look at this here, look at the difference in the orange. So it's just, just a difference to be aware of. All right, so stays on, dries very quickly. Um, it's waterproof and it air dries. And I have always liked this one because it, I can move quicker with it and move faster. It allows it to do it. So let's see what we're going to do here. Make sure. Yep, it's not moving. It's not reactivating. It's doing pretty good. Are there any comments from our... Any comments from, from our audience? live audience? <laughs> I did my stamp upside down, so <laughs> no one will notice. I'm liking, uh, I'm liking the consistency. That it's light and airy. It's very, it's a thin. Ink. Yeah, but you're getting, <laughs> you're getting a nice, really vibrant color. Yes, on paper. Do you notice a difference on fabric? Are you? I haven't it? tried it on fabric. Okay. Yet. Yeah. Is everybody out there getting fabric? Yeah. Oh, look, Crystal's got some. It's a great image. Beth has a great image on her fabric. See. You're making can notes? Can yes. Yeah. Oh, I keep doing it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just does not want to accept the fact that I bet you could do really good bobbin work. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Muslin. It's just a plain muslin. We we have an avalanche. Can I see your uh, your brick? Really nice, and it's bleached. The circle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the colors of the mm -hmm. acrylic blocks. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. got a nice variety of colors. Some kind of squares. It's got some blue. Like the green and the orange. Thank you. Yeah. Dirty. Everything Emerald here is. Emerald City looks very turquoise to me. I would think that that would be a different green, but um, it does really well. Blue Hawaii. I just want to be in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> I can find the blue. Um, 
but I just I find that the the color just dives down in the fabric. That you, it's not quite as noticeable. <laughs> Creating repeating <laughs> yardage over here. <laughs> So the, the next stamp pad, oh, is Delica. Questions? Oh, are there any questions from the online audience? We ask questions for the in-house audience. Are there any for the online? But they say thank you for showing fabric and paper. Okay, yeah, we try very hard to, to make sure that you can try it both ways. Does everybody, what is the coupon code to get your discount today? Who knows? Ink 15. There we go. That's the important part. All right, so Delica, let's see. This one. There, there's a question. Oh, yeah. Did you say that Avalon is a type of muslin? It is a type of muslin, and it's a bleached white muslin. I'm pretty sure we still have it. There was some pandemic differences. Um, we have quite a bit. We have an Avalon. Okay, yeah, because I use it all the time. We dye with it. We stamp with it. It's, it's So you should be able to find it. Avalon being the key word. It is on Comet Sold also. Oh, Jen put it on Comet Sold. So there you go. It's easy to find. That makes it really nice. Okay. Any other questions? How do you keep the ink pads from drying out? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, well, obviously <laughs> I don't know how that one hit really well. Um, a couple of the ink pads, like some of them come with plastic inserts over them. This one doesn't, but a lot of times they have a cover. And before I really understood, I threw the covers out. <laughs> Don't throw the covers out. That's part of the whole idea of keeping them from drying out. Um, the biggest thing I think of is that I'm going to use a reinker. You can spritz them a little bit. But keeping them sealed in plastic, I know that there's areas of the country that are much drier than, than Washington, D.C. So maybe when you're using your stamps and you're done with them, put them in a sealed plastic bag, Ziploc bag, um, some kind of container that's going to keep you know, a lot of the heat and moisture out. But um, if you are in some of those areas, I would say re-inkers are your best, <laughs> best option. So, um, and a lot of times I try to tell people with embossing inks and that type of stuff, buy the ink pad, buy the reinker, buy it at the same time you're going to need it. You're Leo laughing said good night. Who? Leo said good night. Leo goodnight. said good night. Okay. <laughs> um, so that, that's one of the things you want to know, that you want to make sure. So I don't, don't really have any great secrets on how to keep the ink pads from drying out. Any other questions? No, we're doing okay? Mm -hmm. They're literally over oh here. Oh my God, artists. look! <laughs> 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 All right. That's just begging for some stitching, Naya. Yeah, yeah stitching. Stitching. Now, you, now you need to do some and stitching. Beads. Mm -hmm. beads, yes. Okay, <laughs> next stamp pad. This one is more of a metallic. Delica, it's um, it's a water base, it's archival, it's metallic, and one of the things we're gonna do this on a different comment sold. As long as you guys say this is a good idea, there's one I want to do that's embossing. So I use embossing glue, but a lot of times all I have in my hands is a is an ink pad. So I want to know what happens when you try to emboss with the ink pad, and some of the notes that I found from the manufacturer says this is fine for embossing. Sometimes the ink pad and the embossing will bubble, but that's for another night. We won't do that tonight. All right, so this one, again, is paper here. And I use this really cool stamp from Gwen. And again, how I stamp, which I think is you know, something that people don't think about is you look at it and you want your stamp to fit your ink pad. You just want your ink pad to get your stamp, your, um, sorry, your rubber stamp, just flip it and use your ink pad to step it. 
So this is without a um, acrylic block. So it definitely can be done. You get a little more on your fingers, but um, it's not too big of a deal. So I'm, the way you get, I'm, I'm not fanatical about cleaning my stamps. Sometimes it'll just, it'll dry and it'll be fine. But for demonstration purposes and for my samples that I did, I tried to use the same stamp over and over. And every once in a while, you'll can see some residue from the previous stamp color on my stamp pad. But most of the time, they'll just dry. It'll be all right. So there, again, it's much lighter on the fabric here. And I, so I wrote down what the stamp was and what the colors were that I was working with. And of course, you know, I, we love metallics. So there's some um, copper, silver, golden. So if you look at this one here, the, I used this color dark brown. I tried to get as much of it off as I could and then went to the gold but you can see there's a two-tone to it, which I kind of like that. All right. Any questions about this stamp pad? No, but um, Jennifer wanted to know, do you only use the rubber mat or the rubber pad with wooden stamps? I think she means the under pad. Yes. Some okay. with the silicone. Yes. I do only use, all right, so that's a great question, Jennifer. So this pad, we sell you at the time that you buy a wooden block. <coughs> and here's a perfect example of the difference. So if you feel a rubber stamp, it has give to it. A wooden printing block is not going to have give to it because it's obviously hard. So you want your surface to give. So when I push my hand down, you can see that it's giving on the foam mat and that's what's gonna create a nice stamp. With your rubber stamp, your rubber stamp is gonna give. Um, you can use it if you want, it's not gonna hurt it, but you don't have to have it. To have a successful wood block print, you have to have the foam mat. Okay. And I really like my, my acrylic paint for wood blocks better than stamps, but you can do it. Okay, so stays on. There we go. Um, that was that one. Well, one of the things that I'm going to do, the VersaFine Claire, uh, maybe, yes. Okay, the VersaFine Claire is this one. And I had not used this ink pad. I'm going to flip it, Kyle. I had not used this ink pad before. I really like it. It's really quite nice. It's nice and bright. It gave me good results on fabric. I find that the, this was much better on fabric. So it's, it's waterproof when it dries. It quick dries. It's a pigment ink, and it gives you some fine details. Versa Fine, Claire. Because there's multiple types of this stamp pad, I think. But this one says fine. And I, I really like this. I was very happy with the results that I got on this one. So. So a comment that it's excellent and good to know that you sell it. <laughs> yes, we do. These are all, all the ones that we have. So here's. 
And of course, they're new stamps because I hadn't had them before, so they're really juicy. But it gives you some nice detail. They're, it's great with the really, really detailed stamps. You can get really tiny, yes. fine lines, which a lot of... Yeah, I love it. it. This one turned out really well. So the thing that surprised me, though, is that was one of the things I remember Sharon telling me that this was really good with fine, detailed stamps. But the other stamp pad I'm going to show you is that this is the Stays On Pigment. This is definitely juicier than the Stays On. It's still a solvent ink but it seems to be juicier than the other one. Sorry, threads. All right, so here, this has got some amazing detail on it. So you can see that these were the stamps. These are designed by Gwen, and the detail on them oh, just was really awesome. So I found I got a lot of detail with the stays on pigment. And the reason why we sell the stays on pigment is because Seth Apter said that we needed to try this ink pad because he liked it. So we said, sure. But it's just some amazing detail. Now, is everybody doing okay with finding the product on comments sold? Because I know I'm not really doing a... a an order. I'm not doing it orderly. <laughs> oh, people are finding stuff. Are they? Are okay. Stuff. All right. Everything was loaded at the beginning so that they could shop and look while you were talking. Oh, great. And I am presenting things as well. So it is a little discombobulated, but people are watching you and, and shopping. Okay, cool. Um, the detail on this is really nice. So I have to say, I think my new favorite stamp pads are going to be versifying clear and this stays on pigment that was not what started out at the beginning of this experiment i did not um those were not my favorites but now they are so i really really like what they do and the details on on these stamps that come from france are amazing how they're done. They're really very detailed, wonderful. I, I mean, just, it, uh, yeah, it's just cool. I like it. Do you want that in there? So that's directly applying the ink onto the, the stamp. Very simple, very interesting. Now, in another how do you do it? We actually created things with pens. We went through and tested white pens and black pens and all that type of stuff. And I'm not going to do that now, but that's how you're going to get some of your two-tone and your coloring. But I am going to show you, um, we have very limited, I think there's only one of these guys left, but Fiber Castell creates pens with India ink. Mm -hmm. India ink is permanent, and I really like it. India ink is what you use in your calligraphy pens. So it's, and usually it's black. Well, they came out with colors. They are not, um, I think they're just continuing this brush size. <coughs> we have it in white and black singles. But you can actually use this Chris, can you get me some water? <coughs> you can take a brush pen and we can use it as ink. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And it, it's very cool. Excuse me. So if you're desperate and all you have is a pen and you don't have a stamp pad, you can use some of these pens this way. So I, and I thought, I thought that I would like the thinner ones because of course I bought all the thin ones first. 
And then I thought, okay, well, this was the only thing I had. Oh, thank you. But um, I, I kind of like the big brush. Big brush? It's big thin. Brush. I know, big brush big is brush. really great. So I'm not sure why they're not making them anymore, but we do have a little bit, and we'll actually try to get our hands on as much as we can single colors. They used to come in packs. But So you can use these pens on fabric on um, paper as a, um, as a, instead of a stamp pad. So, uh, Chris, I didn't give any of those guys. Do you want to try the big brush? Sure. Pen? I'd like everyone to know I finally figured out how not to do the stamp upside down. <laughs> I thought you were just going to do the whole thing and then you could turn it right side. I know. <laughs> but just, you know, I can learn. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Look at how clear that stamp is. Which, is this with all of the ink pads? Wow. Naya did all of the ink pads in the same stamp. This is so cool. Love it. That's what Catherine's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice stamp. I like that. Is that one of my stamps? <laughs> the one that's a spring? Yeah, Beth wants a spring. I know. I know. That's very cool. So, and here's this outline. This is another Gwen. Flowers. Nice. We need Sharon's upside down work. <laughs> Let's see your upside down work. She took your challenge on. Let's see. Oh, no, wait I figured it out. There's one more coming. <laughs> oh, wow. That's beautiful, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This one, the other thing, I did tell you that we were working on the mixed media paper and why I like it. So um, it's it will definitely take lots of glue, lots of water. Now, when I was in India, um, I went to a paper factory where they were taking scraps of cotton fabric, ripping them down, creating a pulp, and then creating paper with them. So we have these packs of miscellaneous papers that are all, um, this bag is like a, a 9 by 12 bag. So they're all cut, they're miscellaneous sizes, and there's miscellaneous papers in them. Um, I like this paper too because it is very sturdy and I can actually sew through this paper. And it's a little bit softer than the mixed media paper. The mixed media paper is a little bit harder. And one of the things that I find is if I move it too much, if I, you know, if I kind of make it move, then my image is not going to be as clear. But if I just put it down and press, then I get a little better image. And you can see I reverted to my old ways of doing it. <clears throat> so this is on the Indian cotton fabric. And it's just really great. Hmm, lacking that. One more. Let's see, do we get a ghost on here? We get a little bit of ghosting. All right. <clears throat> so, do we have any questions at the moment? I'm late, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a question. <laughs> we are working with inks. So we are working with rubber stamps and ink pads. And we have a selection of ink pads that we showed you stamping on fabric and stamping on paper. So it is a test. 
using these five ink pads. And we used an array of rubber stamping from stamp kits that are from Paper Artsy, which are made in Europe. So here is Versafine, which is this one here. And this is on paper and this is on fabric. Then we had Memento Lux. And so what I did was I took all the ink pads that I had color-wise and tried to give you a selection of them. And this is... Would you remind them that some of the stamps and the reinkers are on that order? <clears throat> yes, the um, is and it, and the reinkers are only going to appear on the artistic artifacts site. So some of the stamps, some of the go for what we have in stock, um, and we are working on restocking some reinkers. You can see them on the website artisticartifacts.com, and we will combine orders for you so you can order things on comments sold and order them on our website it doesn't necessarily have to be ink or stamps it can be anything you want and we'll combine them for free shipping if it, your orders combined orders are $75 or more um, the code for the items on comments sold only is ink 15 that is good for 24 hours and any items that are put into your shopping cart, you have six hours to process and pay for them. Otherwise, your cart empties. So don't go to sleep until you process your order. All right. You have a question. Okay. Can you use the inks and the stamps on canvas fabric? Um, okay, so canvas surface is going to not be a smooth surface. I would think that that would be hard. I would think it would be difficult. So my reaction would be I would stamp on something else and I would transfer it to the canvas. Like you could stamp on a thin muslin and then you could soft gel glue it to your canvas and use that as your three dimensional item. Unless, if you have it very gessoed, so it's very smooth, that would probably be okay. Um, you, but you would have to gesso it so you have a smooth surface. I think, I think of canvases as being bumpy and having lots of texture to them um, before you start painting and stuff. So I, I think it would be hard. Try it, let us know, but that's my initial reaction. I would look at a way of stamping it on something else and applying it to the canvas. Would it work on the um, what we use for our covers? Craftex, yes. Craftex is, an, is a surface that um, is smooth. It's a smooth surface. So Craftex would be a great one to use. Uh, and you can create uh, bags out of it. Well, not that I would wash it, but you could do that. I We use them for journal covers. That was the class that we just had last week. And um, it's a great surface. The craft text is great. You can stamp on cork. You can stamp on craft text. You can stamp on a lot of different surfaces. All right. <clears throat> okay. And then stencils. Okay, we're getting there. So these are some of the samples. You can go back through the replay and get a better idea on what's what. Um, the ink pads do with the various differences between them. Okay, so we'll get a little bit stencils here. Did I open a stencil? I don't think I did. Okay, we just, I got some here, this one. We have some stencils that are on clearance. Stencils come out 
pretty regularly, a uh, regular basis, and we have to, um, we want the new ones, of course. So we need to clear out the older numbers, so to speak. So we definitely, we just did that. So we have some great stencils that are uh, at reduced prices. All right, so if I wanna use ink with a stencil, what do I do? How do I do it? Well, we have these daubers and you can use them by rubbing, pulling ink off your ink pad. You should have a dauber, but I don't know that you have a stencil. <laughs> and you can put it in here and you need to be gentle because one of the things that I end up doing is I end up ripping my stencil. So that is a way to put that on there. So then I would either let my dauber dry or I would have a dauber, you know, I would get a clean one for each stamp because if you're rubbing your green in there and you're on an orange one, it's not going to look so great. So let's this is a different one, it's a little bit larger. And when I'm using stamps, I try to um, maybe not necessarily do the whole stencil. I'll use pieces of the stencil. And you wanna make sure you get into these tips. So that would be a different one. So that's how I use stamp pads with <clears throat> stencils. And as I said, there's a lot of stencils that were, were a lot of new ones we just added and some older ones we're clearancing out. Okay. All right. So that is stencils. Someone said you could also stamp on tissue paper and then glue that to your canvas. That's my favorite thing to do. I do that a lot. With tissue paper, I do woodblock printing. I, I do it in my, do we have a sample on, in your book, Chris? Um, so, we, did you use tissue paper? So, a lot of times. That's some of that. Okay, so that's this. So we can take this tissue paper. See, I have, um, hold on, Kyle, wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, now you're good. So what happens is the tissue paper, when you stamp on it, it's going to sink into your journal. So then you're gonna see the stamp. So I love to do this with my block prints because block printing on a lot of surfaces is really hard. So I print it, and most of the time I print it on white. Color works fine too. I print it on white and you can really see the stamp. I'm like, hmm, I don't know that I brought anything that has that on it. Um, nope, I don't think I did. Okay, well that'll be for another time. So the other thing, and this kind of has to do with pens as well, is what happens when you have a painted surface? So how does the ink work on a painted surface versus a non-painted surface? So what I did was, here's the sample. Um, paper, I did it again on paper, and I did it on fabric. So I took paint, took our artistic artifacts paint, I took golden, and I took the fresco finish paints. So you can see what I did here. Um, again, my paint, favorite paint is the artistic artifacts paint because it's also a textile paint, which you can heat set with an iron but I wanted you to see what it looked like on the surface of paint. Obviously, when you do it with paper, it's wonderful, it's great. So again, when you're looking on fabric, 
it's doing it's giving us better because the the um, paint has made the surface of the fabric smooth did that make sense mm -hmm. sure <laughs> all right Do we have more questions? No. No more questions? How do they feel the demo went online? You guys in the store are good, right? Yes. You are, for sure. Um, does anybody who's been watching us um, at home you have any comments about how this worked for you? They were very interested because you kept on saying that you liked our paint. I do. And we do. We have made many, many videos about that. Um, so I posted the YouTube video. Okay. Um, it's also on our website. Marianne Adams has awesome demo. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you could join us. I really do. I, and you can use our paint with rubber stamps too. It's just you have to be careful that you don't put too much paint on it. So I am definitely a paint girl. And a lot of times I forget about the stamps because my I've got three or four layers of paint in my journal. So here was one that I found and I liked that this is a fresco, which is a matte chalk image. And then I took um, probably a stays on pigment and, and stamped on that. So, you know, I'm liking that surface a little bit. But some of these surfaces, it's like, where do you put the ink and where do you put the stamp? Because this is how I normally work with this, which is paint. I work with paint. So um, this is, you know, I, that stamp I kind of liked, <laughs> Seth's stamp. But you make it too easy to spend the dollar. <laughs> that would be my job. That's my life career. Could, could you say the names of the three paints that you used uh -huh. again? The three paints that I used is the first and number one choice is our Artistic Artifacts Fluid Paint. So we have them in little tubs, two ounces that are a little bit thicker, but this is a fluid paint that um, we have 11 colors, three metallics, um, six black and white, and it, this will last you for a while. You can mix your own colors with it. I literally took my paint and did this with it and took a credit card and squeegeed it. That's all I did. Then a very common paint that's used in the mixed media world is golden. And golden again has thick to thin to fluid. And I still have some golden hanging around from before I made my own paint. Then this is a paint that is um, by Seth Apter. He's created all of the colors. And the thing that's nice about this is that it is a matte finish. It's kind of like a milk paint, so to speak, that you used on furniture. And this will, um, I don't know if anybody's had trouble with their acrylic paint sticking pages on your journal that they would stick. Well, this is gonna prevent that from happening. And as you can see, I used all three of those paints on the fabric as well. And these are my stamp pad names here. So, okay. All right, so everybody knows that they get their discount for 24 hours. And you have our contact information, which is sales at artisticartifacts.com. And then that is our discount code. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a couple more painted. <coughs> painted. So this is with the Memento Lux White. Again, it was very thick and gooey. You can see I was here. By the time I got here, my hands were moving. And so that gives me a little bit, eh, but it's okay. It's fine. And then there's some smaller ones back here that were done in orange. That's a Gwen LaFleur stamp as well. This one is, you can see I got my thumbprint in there, but again, it's all fine. If I don't like it, I can put something in the middle of the circle, but I'm not, um, I don't strive for perfection. I strive for 
done and that I like it. All right. Okay. Chris's pages, yes. And do you want to tell them what our next comment sold is going to be? Yes, <clears throat> we will. So Chris was talking about craft text, which is a really wonderful surface, and it's a little, it's thicker than paper. It can be, you can sew through it, and this is her cover for her journal. So we printed both sides this way and this way. So um, Chris participated in our journal class that we had. So these are a couple of her pages. And we use, this is the mixed media paper. That's why I really love it. It's, um, it takes a lot there, but she can show lots of paint use of fabric you can definitely put fabric in your books in your journals all right this is that new oh that's that new uh what's that called butter butter the stencil butter, stencil butter. this is brand new product stencil brother we're all really excited about it sharon's gonna run and get some <laughs> She is. She is running. It's really nice. Um, this stencil butter is, um, it can be part of, it can be a metallic finish. You can create, you can make it that thin that it almost reacts like paint, or you can make it thick enough that it's like a molding paste. And the colors are just out of this world. We, They're all like a pearlescent. Yeah, too. pearlescent. Yep, there we go. And this one is also. This one is also. Uh, right here and then this one is also you liking that stuff huh chris yes i did <laughs> come home with me all right so this is um all right then she did some pockets some more stencils we started with a, a gel plate and created our backgrounds with lots of acrylic paint and multiple layers and added them all up and and so she did a book about her travel in Paris now this Saturday is a Facebook live at 9 30 and uh, in the morning Eastern time and I'm going to show you how I sew my pages my in to my journal so I'm also I'm going to show you how I sew my paper pages into my journal and then I have a journal that's made with fabric it's a very small little one used as a linen outside and I have several pages on the inside that are fabric so I'm going that will be my Facebook live I will have my Bernina up and running and show you how to do that our next comment sold is April 28th and we have some exciting um, bundles that have been curated by the team here at Artistic Artifacts. And we will have other bundles and patterns and things for our current fabric collection that we have. If you're in the area, we're going to have a parking lot sale on May 14th. Maybe a little nutty because we have a couple classes going that day. Um, if you're in the area and can make the spool class that is on Saturday, Please sign up for that. There are still spaces available. Um, what um, else do we have? Is this uh, stencil butter used just like paint? No. Um, well, stencil butter. I used a credit card. I used a, a credit card and I used a stencil. So. It's like the old card. Yes. She let's stuff. open some. Oh, okay. <laughs> more like a medium yeah it's it's really not as thick okay I thought you were bringing me a credit card so I could open one <laughs> thank you <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> sorry you guys oh, can't well, you can't see Sharon <laughs> you can't see Sharon she's she's all over the place okay so this is 
if you if I put my finger in it I can come here and I can just give a shimmer of the stencil butter so you can get it really really thin here now if I was to use a stencil how I would use it would be I would take my wonderful gift card goo it up and I'm going to gently pull it through the stencil now it, this is not as thick as some other molding creams that we've used um, but that makes it kind of fun so you want to make sure that your we oops see that you're leaving enough of it there Um, it's hard to get it really thick. So yes, it does dry fairly quickly. It, it is difficult to get it really, really thick. Have you, did you try mixing it with um, medium or anything like that? No, I have not done that. With molding paste, you yeah. could, you can mix it with other things. So it has enough pigment in it that it should, but we'll do that on another day. All right. Any other questions? Hang on one second. Somebody asked about combining orders from the website. Okay. We so. we just send us an email. Go ahead and process your order on Comment Sold. Process your order on the website, artisticartifacts.com. Send us an email. Tell us your name, your order numbers, and we will combine them. If they are over $75 combined, we will give you free shipping and refund any shipping that you have been charged. Okay? So we, we allow you to shop all night. Your coupon is good for 24 hours. Ooh. And then um, your shopping cart is good for six hours. So you need to put your items in your cart and process them within six hours or they disappear. They go back into inventory and allow somebody else to buy them. So you don't want that to happen. Do you want another walkthrough of people's samples before we sign off? Okay, we'll do that. Because maybe people built on them. Oops. This is not the right table. <laughs> this is the table's right. over no, here. No, e equal opportunity. <laughs> equal opportunity. <laughs> Where's my fabric? Is it right side up? In some cases, in certain instances, some of them are. Don't look at that one. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use the orange. These look like they were professionally printed. The detail is absolutely incredible.
<laughs> well done. <laughs> that dollar's awesome. <laughs> Everyone's focusing very hard. I know. Ooh, I like your fish. These two are ringers. <laughs> I think the ringers. <laughs> I guess I can't get over it. That's I know. Cool. The spacing yeah. is just perfect on it. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> oh, good. You did paper. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are there any questions? Yep. All right. Any questions? Everybody good? Yep. How about at home? Everybody all right? Thanks for all the great tips and examples. Okay. Be sure to join us for our Facebook Live on Saturday morning and our next comment sold. It's going to be really exciting what with the whole throughout the whole store the team has gone through and created their fabric bundles. It's it's going to it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So hopefully you'll join us. Hopefully you get our newsletter that comes out on Wednesdays. If not, you can sign up for that on our website. And we look forward to seeing you in our social media com community, if not in the store. We've had lots of visitors from outside the area this week. So we look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Have a good evening.